spiritual concept known as microcosm and macrocosm. There was a heaven called the micro heaven, which was the womb. And there was a macro heaven that was the universe. Why would they associate and the woman's body with the universe? In order to see this mystery, with the universe? I would take you back to the periodic chart in your chemistry. Periodic chart has atom. That is hydrogen atom as number one. That is again proton, positive charge, and neutron, which is no charge, and electron, which is negative charge. And what Gilbert has done is put up a model that would explain this mystery. And in the process, revise the entire chemistry, as you're going to see shortly. Okay? What happens is, this is number one. Number two, of course, is a bigger atom, okay, which has, okay, that's helium. Helium has two protons, helium, H-E. Okay, this is the second uh, atom, A on the periodic chart. And this, they have two neutrons and two electrons. Gagot has, in, in developing a model to explain the mystery, has looked, observed that this could be broken down into two units. Okay? Two units. Helium. The top one is a proton, neutron, and an electron, which looks like hydrogen, so you might as well consider it hydrogen, isn't it? And the bottom one is also proton, neutron, electron, which also looks like another hydrogen atom. Mm -hmm. So helium would then be equal to two hydrogen units. How is helium now written? It's H-E. H-E. It's written H-E. Okay? H-E helium. Meaning two protons, two neutrons, two electrons. That's correct. Okay. That's, so this is number two on the periodic chart. Mm -hmm. Okay? And you're going to look at the lithium, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay, again, <coughs> three protons and three neutrons and three electrons. Again, Gaga looks at this and says, okay, you can look at this. And look at that. Okay? And observe again that lithium, Li, is indeed, this is one electron, I'm sorry, one hydrogen, okay? Another hydrogen, and another hydrogen. So, there's three hydrogen units. Okay? Well, if you proceed further, you will find out that the following is true. Carbon, which has, which has six, you know, would be equivalent of six hydrogen units. It's number six on the periodic chart. It will be six hydrogen units. Uh, high uh, oxygen, which is number eight, would also be eight hydrogen units. Okay? Uh, you're going to go, some scrap, you know, would have equivalent of, say, 59 hydrogen units. Whatever the number 59 is. Okay? Mm -hmm. On the periodic chart. And then you keep on going, and uh, gold... Okay, would be 79 hydrogen units. Okay, so 
this scrap metal going into gold, according to Gagot, explanation, is like starting from here, which will be the scrap, scrap metal, okay? Scrap has 59 hydrogen units. When you add 20 more hydrogen units to that, okay? That means you pump in 20 hydrogen units into the scrap metal. The scrap metal is here. What you get is a 79 hydrogen. 20 plus 59 is 79. This, therefore, is the model of the mystery. Okay? This mystery here. And of course, this here. This, the transformation that's going on here. That's Gagat's explanation. Okay? So what that says is, technically, you could turn anything into gold. Of course, the modern day process, you do something called transmutations of metals, okay? And they, they you know, I, they, I don't believe they've perfected it to the point where they can turn anything to gold yet, but they will take metals usually and so on and so on. But on this basic principle, you can turn anything to gold and turn anything from one form to the other, which is a basic transformation, which seems to be also consistent with the, the Gagat uh, theorem uh, as a truth base, okay? Since, you know, you know, from the word of God transforming and all that, uh, you know, so transformation is a way of life, in other words. But the other thing, as I mentioned, is uh, a revision of chemistry altogether. Because now, <laughs> rather than been looking at these stable units called elements, okay, as... You know, some kind of a convoluted kind of description, you can simply look at them as a group of, a set of groups of hydrogen units that are stable. That's what elements will be classified as. And that's much, much easier to visualize and work with. Now, that's, so that, that means that the entire chemistry will have to be revised. And things that have been studied and investigated before could be now looked at with this model. Okay? And, you know, quite a few things could be come out as a surprise. But so in addition, of course, the origin of the mystery is explained by this. This, in effect, is what you call transmutation, in effect. But this obviously have a more sophisticated ways of pumping these extra hydrogen units into the scrap in order to get the gold out of it. Okay? Which also now, you know, presents itself for investigation. Okay? Mm -hmm. So now, so that is with chemistry, but we're not done yet. Therefore, all elements are unified under hydrogen. All of them. They're unified completely, having hydrogen as a building block. That you never heard in your classrooms before. Mm -hmm. No, that's true. Okay? So that is one thing that Gargot brings to our, 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 our attention. Mm -hmm. Well, because compounds are basically... Combinations of elements, and because elements are unified under hydrogen, the compounds are also unified under hydrogen as well. One common denominator, which is consistent with the ancient African theory. More like the truth, actually. Theorem. Because it's real. Okay? So, you know, you visualize the whole thing under a common denominator called hydrogen units. They saw the her body operated on the same principle as the universe. And it's just like the woman's body gives birth to the S-O-N sun from the micro-universe. 
then from the macro universe would be the SUNC.